All right, the completion of the white veal and poultry stock, or the chicken stock with meaty veal bones, however you'd want to talk about it. Um, this we have allowed to cook for eight hours. And this is the pot we just put on a little while ago, eight hours ago, if you want to call it a little while. And there she blows. You'll notice that I had left some of that fatty chicken fat on top of the stock throughout the cooking process. It's still there, okay? There it is. It's going to make the stock particularly good. Now we're going to strain this stock, and we'll talk a little bit about a couple of its uses. And then I'm going to refer you to the fish stock and the fish velouté lesson in this class, because the velouté of chicken and white veal is made exactly like the velouté of fish. All the veloutés are the same. They're made out of white stock, they are slightly thickened, and they're typically reduced with mushroom and mirepoix, celery, carrots, and onions. Let's give this a strain. Let's take a look at it. I'll give it a taste just so you get an idea what my opinion is about what we made in this class today. This is certainly my favorite white stock. There's no doubt about that, even if it does fog my glasses up, you know. Um, Okay, let's just have a taste of it the way it is. Mm. You're probably asking yourself, well, what if it wasn't any good? Would he tell me? You better believe that I would. Um, because I would then bring to you the solution to change that, which would be part of this learning process. This stock is... Good. It needs to be reduced, obviously, uh, because it's still in its full natural state of being watery in terms of its flavor. Now, I'm probably going to end up reducing this down by half and taking it home and making some chicken in a pot or something with noodles and vegetables and mushrooms in it or something, uh, which is a great stock to use for boiled chicken with this. This is great for boiling your pasta in, by the way. Anyway, I don't want to get too far involved in what this is used for other than the fact that this is probably the best white stock one will ever encounter in life and in cooking. It just has those kind of qualities and properties to it that give it the continuous flexibility uh, and the depth of flavor that you need uh, when you're cooking. <clears throat> so let's just take a peek at it on a plate here for a second. See, I got a little bit of fat on top of there. Now, <clears throat> if I take that fat off or swish it aside, and then pull some out. Let's take a look at that now. It's a pretty clear stock. Now in the next class that you're going to receive, which is a soup class, one of the things that I'm going to teach you is how to clarify your stock with egg shells, egg whites, and ground meat all mixed up together and simmered in the stock to form a cake on the top which collects all of the Things that make the soup not clear. Couldn't be put any better than that. So consomme would be that crystal clear reduced stock. And we're going to turn this into one in your class that you receive next month. But um, back to the subject of converting the white stocks, white chicken, white veal and chicken, all white veal, whatever it happens to be, fish velouté, fish stock, to convert this to fish velouté sauce, or excuse me, to convert this to chicken velouté sauce, uh, go to the fish stock and fish velouté um, uh, button on the DVD, and it will tell you exactly how this is made into velouté sauce. Mushrooms, mirepoix, reduced with a little bit of flour, a little bit of cornstarch, then it's strained and seasoned and finished. A little bit of butter we put, possibly a little bit of cream if we want. Otherwise, we just use a thickened stock that's well reduced and use it for all kinds of things. So there it is, white veal and chicken, white veal and chicken or poultry stock. Uh, later to be made into velouté or to be used as chicken broth. Enjoy it. This is a lifelong item that you should be able to use forever. <laughs>